In Myanmar, the rebels have seized control of a strategic border town following days of clashes with the Myanmar military. The vital town bordering China's Yunnan province is central to the flow of trade from Myanmar to China. Responding to the situation, Beijing has urged all parties to immediately cease fire. A top ally and also a major arms supplier of the military junta, Beijing has in fact refused to label the 2021 power grab by the military junta as a coup. The United Nations fears that thousands have been displaced by the fighting, with some even fleeing across the border into China. So what really is the situation at this moment in Myanmar? Our next poll gets you the details. Myanmar's borderlands are home to more than a dozen ethnic rebel groups. For decades, these rebels have waged a war against the military over autonomy and control of lucrative resources. On the 27th of October, a coalition of three ethnic rebel groups, known as the Brotherhood Alliance, the Tang National Liberation Army, the Arakan Army and the Myanmar National Democratic Alliance Army, or MNDAA, launched coordinated attacks on the military across a swathe of Myanmar's northern Shan state. The Brotherhood Alliance is believed to have a strength of 15,000 fighters. Reportedly, clashes took place across 10 locations over the following six days in which power stations and bridges were blown up and transport routes were destroyed. A billion-dollar rail link is planned in the state as part of Beijing's ambitious Belt and Road Global Infrastructure Project. On Thursday, Myanmar military admitting losing control of Chinchwiho, an important border town. Its significance can be gauged by the fact that more than a quarter of Myanmar's $1.8 billion border trade with China passed through Chinchwiho from April to September this year. Calling for an immediate ceasefire, Beijing advocated resolution of differences through peaceful means. China is paying close attention to the conflict situation in northern Myanmar and urges all parties to immediately cease fire and stop fighting, persist in resolving differences through peaceful means, using dialogue and consultation, avoid escalation of the situation, and take practical and effective measures to ensure the security and stability of the China-Myanmar border. Interestingly, Beijing maintains ties with some ethnic and armed groups along the border with Myanmar, even supplying them with arms, a charge Beijing has denied. Undoubtedly, the loss of Chin Shui is a major blow to the military generals, who seized power from Myanmar's elected government in February 2021. Since then, it has been a struggle to contain the dogged resistance to their rule. The generals have dealt with mass protests against their power grab with brute force, leading to their opponents joining forces with long-established armed ethnic groups in a bid to restore civilian rule. Myanmar's junta has been accused of carrying out multiple bloody attacks on civilian targets in a bid to quell the resistance. The most recent of those attacks took place on 9th of October on a camp for displaced people in northern Myanmar, in which at least 29 were killed and over 50 were wounded. Given the gains of the past few days, it will be interesting to see if the rebels succeed in their struggle. Or will the military junta crack down with a force and brutality hitherto unseen in Myanmar? <laughs>